Hello YouTube fam, it's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I ran and I review. A while back, I had started paying off my credit cards. Then, you know, like I said, a lot of good sales hit. And I was like, damn, you know, I was like getting swamped again. And don't get me wrong. I was like, man, I don't like using my debit card. And half of the time, I don't like using cash. You know, so I use my credit card to get points. You know, I know a lot of you all understand about points and things like that. And I pay my credit card. The thing is, man, I was looking at it like, man, I want to slow down and I want to talk to you all. And I'm going to make sure I say this and make this clear. Slowing down don't mean quitting. I said this in another video. If you're going 60 miles an hour and you start saying, hey, I'm going too fast. I'm going to slow down to 30. You didn't stop. You slowed down. And that's what slowing down mean. It don't mean I quit or I'm stopping. I'm slowing down. And that's the thing. If you normally buy like 20 damn action figures a month or 10, you know, if you buy 10 action figures a month, you drop it to five, you're doing damn good. You ain't buying as many as you was before. If you spend, let's say, $100 a month, now you're spending 20, you spending 50 a month. Then you drop it again to $20 a month. Dude, you're doing damn good. See, this is what helps when you're trying to do stuff, man. You know, I eat out a lot, you know, on certain days. Me and my wife, we eat out a lot on certain days. You know, like Wednesdays when our shows come on or, you know, on the weekend and we do our thing. You know, sometimes you don't want to cook. Sometimes you don't want to see the kitchen. Sometimes it's too damn hot. It is what it is. And you just sit back and be like, yeah, we're going to go get something real quick. Man, you know what? All that stuff adds up. But the thing is, it ain't the problem with it adding up. It's just the problem with me just saying, eh, I'm starting to rethink what I'm doing here. I'm not saying that, you know, again, when people say, oh, see, you start realizing that you just buy too many damn toy lines and that's your problem. You can buy as much as you want, as many toy lines as you want. That has nothing to do with anybody's pockets but yours. If it's hurting people that damn bad the way you spend your money, shit is crazy. Dude, I have nothing to do with the bottom line in your house or any damn thing like that. This is why I say, know your pockets. Know how much you are willing to spend. Know how much you're willing to, you know, let shit slide until you be like, yeah, I'm done with this right now, man. I'm kind of done. And, you know, they were like, man, you know, you collecting video games now, man. What's going on? How many video games do you got? I'm like, shit. Dude, like when I focus in and hone in, I start going real hard. And that's what I do. You know, I try my best to get where I need to be at. You know, if I see deals, I pick them up. Dude, I seen some really good deals on video games and some action figures, man. I seen some really good deals, man. And I was like, man, the old me would just lost his shit. I'm telling you, I seen some deals today that I would have just said, look, I'm going to just go on bad and just call it quits. But I'm not. Dude, sometimes you just got to step back and say, look, I'm going to take it a day by day. If you didn't get it, if you wasn't able to buy it, it wasn't for you. Remember that. Whatever's for you will still be there for you. If it was meant for you to buy a whole bunch of action figures that they had in a lot that was unopened and they all went for $20, not $20 a piece, but $20. You got $1,000 worth of action figures and they selling them for $20. All of them. And your shipping is $20 damn dollars. You know, you're like, damn, okay, is he making any money? But you know what? A lot of us will say, still, that's too much. You pay $20 for 20 unopened action figures. And you pay $20 for shipping. Somebody will say $40 is too damn much. Dude, I'm trying to figure, where do people come from? And you just want the shit for free? Or you just want to complain and talk shit about the person and be like, this is what it is? Man, you know what? Look, man, I was actually looking at other YouTube channels and actually like, how do they do this? How do they go about doing that? And I realized, you're not them. You can't do the shit they do. You're not them. And they're not you. You who you are. You Tim. You Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim is going to do shit the way he see fit. He's going to buy the stuff he want to buy, and he's not going to buy the stuff that he don't want to buy. Dude, I've been looking at it just like this, man. All the stuff that I've been buying, man, 
shoes and all that. I went on a hiatus with shoes. Uh, starting the day, I went on a hiatus with the video game. I still got a lot of shit coming. But, you know, I just stopped right now. I'm like, uh, you know, I just, I don't know. All of a sudden, something just said, pay off your credit cards. And that's why I went with it, dude. And I looked at it just like this. I don't know what's coming. And I don't know what tomorrow may bring. But I don't want to be in debt and sit here and look and say and complain about shit. Now is the time to get yourself going. I don't know. You know, I've been hearing a lot of people talking about, you know, we need to start prepping for, you know, the unforeseeable future because we don't know. We need to stock up on gold and silver. I'm going to say something to you. How do you know it's going to have any value? That's the thing that you got to look at. Would this stuff still have value? You have to pay attention to everything. You got to make sure the shit you doing would hold value. And that's what I've been looking at, man. I haven't been worried about all this other stuff. Just the stuff that hold value. You know, what hold value for me? What I feel like buying? What's a good deal for me? How much do I want to spend on certain things, man? Where do I want to go? How far do I see myself going with this YouTube thing? Do I see myself, you know, taking this to the next level or, you know, or being like this person or being like that person? My goal is not to be any damn body else. My goal is to be me. My goal is to take it and move on with it. Dude, you got to understand at the end of the day, you got to worry about you. You got to worry about what it is that you do. You hear people telling you they're going on trips all around the world and it's like that. Don't sit here and get upset. Be happy for them. Your time is coming. Right now, it's their time. You don't know what the hell they went through. Man, shit. You know, I know people who've been shut-ins. You know, all of a sudden, now they're living their life. And people mad at them. I'm like, why are you mad? You've been living your life for the last 20 damn years. You've been living good. No, but you know what? Yeah, it just seemed like they're doing all of this right now. I said, hell, they can stay money but oh you're supposed to do it slow i said you you don't have to do shit slow you do it at your own pace dude if your pace and your money is different this is why i say worry about your own pockets shop based on your pockets go places based on your pockets you know i was told man you going to fogo de child and Texas de Brazil, you went to these Brazilian steakhouses, and man, you know, people out there hungry. What they got to do with me? You can't feed the world. No good deed goes unpunished, man. You can't help every damn body. Who's going to help you when you need help? Bruh, we all had our fair share of shit in this life. A stuff being slang in your face to make you feel like you stupid. We all done went through some shit that made us all mad. We done went through shit that damn near broke us. Now, finally, when you get opportunity to win, you upset? Man, come on. 